Okay, so uh, uh, I'm uh, very glad uh, to be able to welcome today uh, my good uh, friend and colleague, uh, Minister Kuleba, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine uh, in Bucharest for a very special meeting, which is uh, organized for the first time, uh, the uh, trilateral Romania, Poland, uh, Turkey, together with uh, our uh, very important partners uh, in the East, uh, Georgia and Ukraine. And uh, I think it's a very good uh, opportunity to share views and discuss um, assessments about uh, the current security situation in the region, uh, especially in and around Ukraine. Um, we have seen uh, the massive uh, deployment of uh, Russian troops um, recently. And despite the fact that, uh, well, we have uh, an announcement of uh, withdrawal of these troops, I think it's very important to see what are the uh, uh, root causes, what are the uh, measures in order to de-escalate and to uh, make sure that such kind of events do not happen again. It is a good opportunity for um, us to uh, reassess and uh, to re uh, restate um, the uh, firm support for the uh, Euro-Atlantic and European aspirations of Ukraine, uh, to restate uh, the support uh, for the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Ukraine, and of course, last but not least, we will also have the chance to discuss bilateral issues about uh, our uh, cooperation in uh, the political, economic, and other fields, and of course, about the uh, issue related to the rights of the Romanian minority in Ukraine and the Ukrainian minority in Romania. So please, uh, Dmitry, if you would. Thank you. Uh, this is an extremely timely meeting, Sorry. and I would like to thank Bogdan for uh, hosting us uh, here in Bucharest. And uh, I will thank all three ministers uh, for uh, inviting Ukraine and Georgia to participate in their meeting. This meeting is timely because it's taking place against a very dangerous development in our region. Uh, and this development uh, uh, is directly relevant to security not only of Ukraine, but also of Romania and entire Black Sea region and all countries. Uh, this is the Russian military buildup that is taking place not only along the uh, eastern border of Ukraine, but also in, in the illegally occupied Crimea, and thus affects security of all of us. Uh, it is true that uh, yesterday, Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation said that military exercises are over and uh, their forces will be brought back to the to their stations, uh, but I would like to emphasize two things here. First, we want to see that Russian deeds match Russian words. What was said is not enough. We want to see that this will be implemented and that all these forces will be removed from our border. If this happens, this will mean easing, real easing of tensions. This is the good news. But I would like all to remember that even this pullback will not neither mean the end of escalation nor of the conflict, because Eastern Ukraine is still occupied by Russia, Crimea is still occupied by Russia. And Ukraine will welcome all constructive and consequent steps of Russia to systemically de-escalate situation and put an end to the Russian aggression against my country. I would like to thank Romania and uh, other NATO and EU countries for offering very firm and immediate support to Ukraine in this situation. This is where you really get a clear understanding who is your true friend and who is a friend that is uh, on, on, on the paper only. Romania proved itself to be a true friend of Ukraine and uh, I appreciate Minister Aurescu's uh, involvement in this thing. We are absolutely confident that Russia decided to immediately uh, stop its uh, military exercises 
partly because of this international reaction to its activities. Pressure works when properly and timely applied, and this was the case. Uh, I would like to reiterate that aside of uh, security and NATO related issues, we will also have a bilateral meeting to which I'm looking forward. And uh, I want all of uh, uh, people who care for uh, Romanians living abroad to know that Romanian community in Ukraine is an asset of our country. We uh, believe that Romanian culture in Ukraine, Ukraine, Romanian identity in Ukraine should further evolve and remain an integral part of our society. And the same applies, of course, to our expectations about the Ukrainian minority in Romania and uh, maintaining and the development of its traditions and identity. So I'm sure that we will have a full, fruitful uh, conversation. And once again, thank you for having us here.